Uh huh. No, I can't do it. Okay. It's a pack of wolves. It's an animal. Look at that. And you've got goldfish. Yeah. And this book too. I got this book? Cool. We'll have to say thank you to your teacher, huh? Yeah. There's all kinds of animals to look at. It. Thank you for the this book, teacher. Thank you for the other book. And thank you for the goldfish. Thank you for this eraser. And thank you for the Christmas pencil. <laughs> I love it. Okay, you're going to take your Q-tip. Okay. And dip it in the paint. And then you're going to fill in all these dots to spell out your name, okay? But can I just make the line? No, you're going to do the dots, okay? Okay, do the dots. We just picked up her preschool work from school. We've been doing this from home the whole time, but the school is actually now um, working from home for the next week or two weeks. Everyone is, so. Good job, Bob. Thanks. Did you want to fill in all these dots on the edge? No. No? Okay. Okay, so you're gonna color Santa, okay. and then this is gonna be like your advent calendar. So okay. for every day, we're going to glue a cotton ball onto Santa's beard, and when it's all full, it'll be time for Christmas. Oh, that's a pen, that's not a color, but did you want red? Well, you don't color his beard, because that's where the, the cotton balls are going. Okay. So color his hat and this, and you can color his face if you want, his nose. Well, we can't do, we can't do the numbers? No, because we're going to put these on there. Okay. so I think this is vlogmas day 10 I don't really know but um I just panicked because I found an envelope in my closet that I thought was all of Jake's basic training letters but it was actually a bunch a bunch of cards from Eden's baby shower so then I went searching for the letters to make sure that I still had them and I found them and I just forgot about something and I think it's really funny so I wrote, Jake apparently had asked for a newspaper for me to mail him a newspaper at basic training and I'm assuming so that he had something to read and maybe they weren't allowed to have books. But for some reason I was like, nope, I'm not gonna send you a newspaper. And you know what I did instead? And this is the kicker. I wrote out an episode of South Park and I sent it to him and I mean, that's pretty funny by itself, but I didn't even type it. I wrote it out by hand. Why did I do that? <laughs> like, who does that? I just... <laughs> Maybe I thought that if it was typed, he would get in trouble or something. I don't know, but that's really freaking funny. What's this? Oh, uh, your mom or Jensen must have sent a photo of when he got Ren. I just remember, um, I think you were either at basic training or AIT and I had to go to your mom's house for something and Rin was still a puppy. Like he was big, but he, his ears were still down and he was the calmest, chillest puppy. And I just remember being like, Jensen, this is weird. Like your dog is really just like the best puppy I've ever seen. And he was like, really? 
and I wouldn't shut up about it. I don't know why I remember that. Also, all these pictures. Also, all these pictures. I don't know if these were in your locker, and so that's why they're with this stuff, because it looks like there's tape on this one, so maybe this was in your locker, and then you took it down when you came home. Um... What? Uh, ask you then. She did. She just said yes. Oh, okay. This is from Chelsea Kaiser slash Cheney's wedding, I believe. I don't know why it's in here. <laughs> from the few letters that I've read through, it is too embarrassing to show. It's just, it's too embarrassing. It's so bad. I can't, I can't bear to, um, show people what I said because it's, it's gross. And I just mean gross as in, oh look, there's Ryan. Gross as in like, it's way too sappy. Um, at one point, Jake had a bunch of guys in his unit, uh, our platoon, I don't know what you say, uh, send me letters and this one i remember this one being the only one that was actually serious because most of them were just like jokes but this one is from a guy named eric turner and he says aka black turner and then he tells me his height and weight and then he actually tells me a lot of nice things about himself um and then he says i am absolutely positively no doubts about it beautiful and jacob is the lucky man how nice is that I think he's the only one that I sent a return letter to that was actually serious. The rest of them I just sent basically nasty letters because they were they were crazy. I thought this was funny too. It says, P.S. Tell my mom sorry I haven't written. That's probably the most Jake thing I've ever seen. And in another letter it says he gets mad at me for stealing all his writing time. I think what happened was I wrote him every day, sometimes more than once a day. And so he was spending all his writing time writing to me instead of anyone else. I think that's what was going on. I also found these, which I, I don't even know when these are from. There's no dates, but they're two different times because you can see Jake's hair is longer in one, but it was a long time ago. I also found this, a few notes in here that weren't from basic training, they were just from life. And Jake and I both used to work at the forum and on Sunday mornings, either Saturday or Sunday mornings, maybe Saturday, they used to have skating school and someone had to be there in the morning to open the snack bar for them and they just worked alone the whole morning. And I think that I had made Jake take one of my shifts and so the, the whole shift, he wrote me notes about what he was doing and they're really stupid but <laughs> if you work at the forum or you go there normally he wrote side note larry drank a whole pot of coffee <laughs> and if like i said if you go to the forum a lot you know exactly who i'm talking about and you know that he loves his coffee
show this really quickly because um, if you've been watching my Vlogmas the past few years, every year this wall in my living room looks different, but I finally did it in a way where I love it. I'm not gonna change it. So um, the rug is kind of like orange and tan and peach and taupe and blue. So I did a blue wall. Um, I, I also have blue in my kitchen, so. And then uh, I did curtains to match the rug. I got this at Hobby Lobby when I went to Bangor a month or two ago. I made this shelf from Lowe's. It is a giant piece of wood and I didn't even cut it. I literally just bought it in the lumber section and stained it and then stuck it up there. Um, and then I have a few books out here. I'll probably put more eventually. Um, then I decorated with that wreath for Christmas. And then I had this print in the middle from Wayfair. And I got these sconces from Home Depot uh, because I didn't want to drill into the walls. Um, and then we have my mom's old end table, this little, I don't know, arrangement that I just came up with. And then um, this print and this print were both from Etsy for like $2. And then I just had them sent off somewhere to be printed in this size. And then I also bought this wood at Lowe's and I just made my own frame because um, that's the kind of look that I wanted and there's never any frames in the size that I want. So I just made it and I love it so much. It feels so cozy. I, uh, I'm making crunch wraps with the leftover taco stuff. So I have a giant tortilla and then I put the meat down first with cheese and taco sauce. Um, I think it's usually made with nacho cheese, but I don't have that right now. And then I just crushed up one of these leftover shells to put for the crunchy thing. And then I put sour cream on that. And then I put the veggies I wanted, which is onions, pickles, and black olives. And then I put more cheese, lettuce, and more taco sauce. And then I just fold it up and I stick it in the pan. And that's what it looks like. Who doesn't like candy candy? I do. Okay. It says, um, says you need eight ounces of hot milk. Okay. I got this. Eight ounces is one cup, right? Yeah. Okay, why not turn this on? Is that loud? Um, Open them and put them in your mugs, okay? Okay. Now open them and put it in. Don't break the ball. Um, okay, I'll put it in. Mine is going to be this. Here, A little bit so I can record it, okay? I want to see it though. Okay, can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. It's in mine. Not. Can I bite it? Can I bite it? Look at it. Can I bite it? Oh, put that back in. Watch Look. out. I gotta pour the hot milk. <gasps> Whoa, it's mel- <gasps> Look! It's marshmallows! It's melting! Yeah, that's why it's called a hot chocolate bomb because it- It breaks apart. Yes. It's full of marshmallows. 
So this is what I got done. We have Grayson and Alex. That's my sister, my parents, and my brother-in-law, and then um, all of Jake's siblings, pretty much. His mom, stepdad, his uncle. Um, I still have two presents. Oh no, it's all smudged. Is the other one smudged? Um, no, you've had enough chocolate. Um, I still have two presents that I need to wrap, but they're not here yet, and then I need to buy three more. <laughs> um, but I got everyone that I have that's not my kids wrapped. Alden's present is giant, so it's over here. And I have this ribbon left over from last year and it fit perfectly. This is some of the schoolwork that Eden did today. She made a gingerbread man, candy cane. She's got a Santa advent calendar now. Look. Okay. I just wanted to show this because I don't know if I did last year. I might have. Um, I got this really pretty set of holiday cards. I think it was last year from Amazon. And it comes in this really nice box. And there's 32 cards in here. And they're all assorted. So I think there was either two or three of each design. Um, there's even a New Year one. There were so many pretty ones. Um, they're just, and every design is cute. And they're blank on the inside. Um, like that one's really nice. I love that one, this one. Um, and they come with stickers to seal and also envelopes. Um, and I don't remember how much it cost, but I, it was probably less than $20 for all of these. Um, and I'm using some of them this year because um, I got some books as gifts this year. And since we're not going to be together, I kind of feel like I kind of feel like I have to like explain a little bit <laughs> why I chose those books or whatever. So for some of the gifts, I'm putting one of these cards in with a little like note and explanation. And I just thought I'd share in case you needed something similar. Yeah.